Hello, welcome to Titan Talk, episode 12. I'm Patrick McCormack. I'm joined by the Six Smith Brothers and head coach Joe Conifree. The Six, Six Brothers are Jack, Billy, and Mike, and they've had a great career at Holy Trinity. They had a 54-18 and 18 league record, a 118-43 and 43 combined record, two league championships, a state championship, and 2,500 total points. A great resume for all three of them, and we'll start with Coach Conifree. What was it like coaching them? Well, it was really cool. Um, you know, they're, they're going to roll their eyes at this because they've heard it a million times. But, you know, their dad and I have been friends for a really long time, and I've known them since they were all little kids. Um, Billy and Jack came to camp every year. Mike was too cool to come to camp. But, um, you know, I, I, Bill Sr. and I used to talk all the time about, hey, wouldn't it be really cool for these, if these guys played for me one day? That would be awesome, you know, just as like a, you know, a pipe dream. And then for them to come play for us, have the success they all had individually, win multiple championships, you know, Billy and Jack to go on and have tremendous college careers, Mike to get a Division One scholarship. I mean, you know, all those things you just mentioned, it's really been unbelievable. And uh, it took until obviously Mike's, you know, career being over now to reflect back on it. It's just unbelievable. And, and what a tremendous experience. It's been really cool for me to see them grow up and, you know, to become men now and, and uh, to see their careers and um, just a tremendous experience. Now going to Jack, Billy, and Mike, what was it like playing at Holy Trinity? And we'll start with Jack. Um, it was good. I liked it a lot. Um, it was a very close-knit community, which I liked. I always uh, find it more fun to play when you like the people you are playing with and playing for, and that's what it was like when I played at Holy Trinity. Jack? That was Jack. <laughs> okay, Billy. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot going off of what Jack said. Um, it was always nice playing in front of a group of people who were just as committed to our team as, our, as we were ourselves. Um, there's not a game that I can remember where we had a crowd where we were more excited to play, and it just shows the type of fans that we have at Holy Trinity. And Mike. Yeah, it was really fun playing at Holy Trinity. Um, all the competitive games, and it, it was always fun playing with the, your friends. Very nice. Now I'll get the names right for this question going around. Uh, how did Trinity impact your career? We'll start with Billy. So even going into college, uh, kind of pretty, really gave us the blueprint of pretty much what it's going to be like. Uh, I think it helped me grow as a player when I was going through my years at Holy Trinity, and it only prepared me more for what came once I got to the team, and uh, I'm really grateful for him. <laughs> and Jack. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's possible that. I didn't enjoy playing as much as Billy and Mike. Um, but yeah, no, I had a lot of fun playing at Trinity and I feel like it gave me a template kind of of um, how I should feel, I guess, when I do play. Um, and I guess it sort of pushed me to wanna continue playing in college. Very nice, and Mike. Yeah, I kind of what Jack said, it really pushed me to play. I don't know what I really wanted to be at. Uh, Coach Conifree was really hard on me, and I appreciate him for being like that. Do you guys have a favorite moment as a tight end? And we'll start with Mike. Um, probably when we won the championship in 2019. That was really fun. Uh, Billy and Jack were always told me that we didn't have one. So it was fun to win one. Jack? Um. Yeah, probably when we won the championship too. Uh, I liked when we won. I had fun when we won upstate for federations, even though we lost. But it was still a good time. <laughs> and Billy. Um, I think when we won the league championship in 2014, uh, I think that just meant more to the community at Holy Trinity than the state championship did, since we didn't win since '99 before that. So that was definitely a cool moment that I'll always remember. Now, you guys had a cool opportunity. Billy and Jack were able to watch Mike play, and Mike was able to watch Billy and Jack play. What was it like for you guys to watch each other play and be successful? And we'll start with Billy and Jack. You can go. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, 
I mean, I don't know how many games I saw Mike play, but he's he was always a lot younger than me, so I guess I never really took him serious as a basketball player. And yeah, it was uh, cool to see him develop into a really good player. And now he's going on to college, which is, I don't know, it'll be fun to watch him. Um, it was definitely good to see Mikey play. Mikey's a great player. He deserved everything that came to him with all the awards he got at Trinity. Um, <laughs> I like to. I wish I could watch more games that he played, but uh, I'm just proud of the career he had, and I can't wait to see what he does in the future. And Mike, what was it like watching your brothers play? Uh, it was fun watching them play. I was always into the games. Every one of those games were close, so I always tried to. Like, be like, you know, and they really paved the way for me, especially Jack. Now we'll have some fun on this interview. Uh, we weren't having fun already. If you guys, both your league championship teams, one with Billy and Jack and the one with Mike, had to play each other, who do you think would win? And we'll start with Mike. I think my team would win. Much more uh, chemistry in the group. And we would. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We just we play defense. That's really it. We wanted to play defense. <laughs> so we can beat them. And Billy and Jack. Our team would win by a, a lot. Yeah, I, I don't really think it would be. It wouldn't be close. close. We're more deep. I, Mike, I think Mike knows that it wouldn't be very close. And Coach Conifer, we'll let you settle the argument. Oh yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I, I, I quadruple over time stopped it after that no I think both teams uh were they were different you know we were the Mike's team was much more of a um kind of a grinded out uh team by the end of the year and we won he's right we won on the defensive end of the floor uh, more than anything and then uh, uh Billy and Jack's team um, was very high powered team we pressed a lot more uh we got up and down a lot more um so definitely two different teams um, but uh, similar kind of attitudes. I think both – it's funny because both teams, both of their, their senior years were actually better teams than the, the teams that won because they, they all won it in their junior years. And those teams were all kind of like scrappy. Little, I don't want to say underdogs. We were very good. But you know, we weren't maybe necessarily picked number one in the, the league or whatever that year. And we just kind of like had that attitude all the time of, you know, we're, we're coming after you. And that, that was something that was a common theme for the team and these guys as, as players in general, which I love. I love coaching that. And now uh, we'll continue with the fun. And uh, out of the three, who do you think the better outside shooter is? You guys can take it whoever you want. I would say Billy. <laughs> I would say me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Mike? It's it, me. I think so – I'd actually say but besides me, it's funny because Jack actually was a very good shooter. <laughs> and at some point, he was going to stop threes, but we won't get into that. Um, they're, all, they're, all, they're all tremendous shooters. That's say, what I'll which the, say which one's the best <laughs> Who's a better mid-range shooter? I, I don't think I've ever shot a mid-range shot in my life. So I think probably Mike. Down to Jack. Jack like the floater. <laughs> Better defender. Jack. <laughs> Who said that? Who said Jack? Billy? I said Jack. So we all we agree that it's Jack? Yeah. Jack, yeah. Thank you. I that. That's good. And then the better ball handler. Jack. <laughs> I'd agree with that. <laughs> Now, going into your college careers, Billy and Jack, you guys won the CUNYAC championship. What was that experience like for you guys? Um, I'll go. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, you know, similar to how it was in, uh, at Trinity. Uh, when we won in our junior year, uh, we lost the year before Shaman. It was a lot similar to that where we've lost the last two years to the College of Staten Island and then uh, seeing them in the championship our senior year and being able to win that was – uh, it was definitely a great experience and definitely similar to how it was in high school. And then how do you feel Holy Trinity prepared you for your college career to end and be so successful? 
Is that you? Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess the coaches, Coach Conifer specifically, um, just the work ethic they instill. Because college is a lot different from high school, just in terms of um, just like the physicality of it all. And you are on your own at college, so uh, also combining school with athletics. Uh, but yeah, I think just the coaches at Trinity more so than anything prepared me for. That. Awesome, and Mike, going over to you, you're going to the Sacred Heart. You're going to play uh, an NEC a conference I'm very familiar with. I'm a St. Francis alum. Love NEC basketball. Look forward to follow a tight end play uh, in the conference. How do you feel Trinity prepared you for uh, Sacred Heart? Uh, yeah, like Jack, what Jack said, Coach Jennifer really prepared me well for Division One basketball with the the grind and the competitiveness. So I really feel that Coach Jennifer helped me where I am right now. And what do you look forward to the most playing D one and playing at Sacred Heart? Um, probably the relationships I'm gonna have with teammates. When you have it's like that you're always with them at the division one level in the summer and in the fall so i can't wait for the relationship to have and coach conifer what's it like to have three outstanding players two of them have great college career and one's about to start their college career go through the program and be an example of holy trinity at the next level yeah i mean it's just like this even just sitting here today is is um it's so great for me you know like i said watching you guys come and they're all, I mean, tremendous players, great young young men, um, very coachable kids. Um, and to see them go on uh, to the next level, because that's really, at the end of the day, that's my job. I mean, whether we win or not, or what we do on the court, if these guys aren't ready to go on in life, it's on the court or, or off, or, you know, in whatever situation they're in, then I haven't done my job. So. Um, just very special for me to, to coach these guys. I get so much out of it uh, personally to, you know, to coach them and, and have relationships with them. Um, very special to me. I would like to thank Billy, Jack, and Mike Sismith for coming on this episode of Titan Talk along with head basketball coach Joe Conifer. Be well during these times, and thanks for taking the time to talk. See you next time. Thank you, thank you for having us. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Pat.